Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Matt and Matthew with Ham House. And if you've watched any of the channel, you know that Matthew's put a challenge before himself to go from nothing to $10,000 in sports memorabilia. Now, I'll be honest, as a dad, this has been quite an adventure because Matthew gets these wonderful ideas, gets super energetic, but we have to kind of make sure that we're doing it in the right way. And so we've learned a lot of lessons, right, Matthew? Oh, a lot of lessons. Right, and it's been, it's been a good uh, thing for us to do this summer. But uh, if you watched the last video, we pulled... Um, uh, we bought a Mosaic 2021 football box from Walmart for like $33, $34. And we got that money because I sold some Garbage Pail Kids, like the old 1986 Garbage Pail Kids. I sold a lot of those, a hundred, about 100 cards, I think, something like that, for 35 bucks. So with that box of Mosaic, yeah. Matthew, show them what we pulled. Well, the first pack was horrible. And then the second pack, we pulled a Tua Tag of Iowa out of 25 orange refractor. Yeah, so this is a really cool card. I, I like it a lot because, you know, uh, the dolphins are orange and teal, yeah. and so it's an orange and teal refractor that goes really well uh, with the jersey. And again, it's 16 to 25. There's not a lot of comps on eBay with this card, um, but we saw one, I think. Yeah, and it's that a 150 it, raw. It was like a raw, I don't think it was 150, I think it was like 105, 110. Oh, okay. It was 105. Yeah. So, but we could get this graded, but we're learning a lot about the grading process and yeah. about how expensive that can be, how long it can take. Um, and so we're, we're trying to decide. If you guys have any input on that, let us know. Uh, but there's also a sports card show in town next week. So we plan on taking this yep. card, seeing if we can swap it out maybe. Um, but that's going to be a great opportunity for us to trade up. Um, so, Matthew, tell them about the, um, the other thing you learned about with the Lamello. Yeah, so I purchased a Lamello, which I thought I saw it was like $20. And I thought it was a great price. But after buyer's premium and shipping and taxes, it was like 33 And I still thought that was a great price. Two flaws. One, it was a draft picks card. It was a red cracked ice prism, which I saw. I was here that red cracked ice is the best one. But it was a draft picks card, so he wasn't wearing his Hornets jersey. So it wasn't as valuable as just like a regular. And he was also, it was also, the card wasn't graded by a notable company, SGC, BGS, or PSA. It was graded by like ISA or something like that. And it was a gym mint. But still, the card wasn't as valuable as I thought it to be. And I've been learning uh, like what to buy, make sure it's graded by a notable company, make sure they're wearing New Jersey and all that. Learned a lot of things. I've done some good things. And I've done some bad things. Well, I think the cool thing about yeah. Lamello is we did turn around and sell it on eBay. Mm -hmm. And so we got our money back at least. Maybe maybe lost like, you know, 3 or $4. Yeah. Um, and so uh, another cool card. Tell them, tell them about this here. Yeah, so... Right when we started this, about two weeks ago, uh, some neighbors, I was saying, man, I hope there's somebody, at least in Wilmington, that uh, like does sports cars. And literally, kids just start knocking on our door, asking us if they, we wanted to trade or buy their sports cars. I'm like, how cool is that? We had like a Stephen Curry insert that we ripped from like a mosaic basketball box. That we had had from yeah. like, you know, previously. Yeah, like, and they were big Curry fans. And yeah. so in there you found this, which was a uh, Panini sticker, Panini, yep. uh, NBA sticker collection. And it is a Carl Anthony Towns. The cool thing is it is a four of five. And it does have uh, one of the corners is a little bit off. And so don't know we'll be able to get it graded, but it's a really cool raw yeah. to have because it's just a four or five. So we're going to work on maybe trading that out. Yeah, the centering's perfect and everything else, but one of the corners is yep. bent. And then, um, you know, we had sold like uh, an Xbox and, um, you know, Matthew had done some uh, yard work yep. for a neighbor. And then we had sold some other things around the house. So show them what else we got. Well, we got this Zion. It's just a rookie, just a regular uh, prestige. But we got it for like $3. So we could get this graded and it's like a really good card. But if it grades at 10, it's worth like 150 That's also the upside with Zion. Like, I, I don't think it was worth 150 I think graded 10, it's probably around like 50 or 60 I thought it was, I thought it was like one. Okay. Yeah. I just, I just want, we want to kind of be as honest as we can. I just don't want to overestimate things. And that's the hard part, right? Is sometimes you get really excited and you think a card might be like worth a lot more. But like eBay is so full of like all kinds of people buying all kinds no, of stuff. No, it was the silver that sold for one. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Um, and then tell them about this one, Pico. This is our this is our PSA ten that we got. Yeah, this was like thirty dollars, and uh, this is one of our early buys. 
So we, like, we didn't know about like the, how the NFL debut or like less. But I had said I wanted Tua, and I just saw this rookie PSA ten, and I bought it. I think it was like twenty nine, but after you had like tax and shipping, it was like thirty something. But it's a still a PSA ten. So if Tua does really well this season, which I hope he does, because they have Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. Uh, this car will go up a little bit in value. Yeah. Maybe we can flip it. Yeah, we might be able to flip it. And then, you know, what's really cool, too, is this has gotten me back into my cards. I had a bunch of cards from when I was a kid, um, and I started kind of going through some of my old stuff and things that I could flip out. And so we ended up um, finding somebody uh, here in town who was getting rid of some cards, and we found two 88 Jordans that are looking to be in really good condition uh, so we're wondering about maybe getting those graded and seeing if those could grade up. And then I've gotten into some um, some vintage cards and actually found um, a 64 uh, Mickey Mantle and a 64 Willie Mays. Um, I was able to get those um, for around 150 and uh, I got all of that from stuff that I sold, um, you know, that I had previously, uh, some stuff that I had around the house. So we still haven't spent any new dollars you know, so I'm kind of like parallel in Matthew with my own stuff, just like trading some old cards, selling some old cards, selling some stuff around the house. And I also got this. It's one of my favorite sets. It's a 1960 Topps uh, Willie Mays. And I probably won't get these graded. I just like the old cards, um, the vintage look. I like that they're well-worn. Uh, they're scuffed up a little bit. Um, so I've got another Mays, uh, excuse me, another Mantle coming. Um, and then constantly looking for whatever we can do, but I might uh, I might need to sell some oh, stuff here. This one? Well, sure. I mean, that's a very very common popular card. Common PSA ten. It was well, not, but that's the point. Is so we got yeah. this. It's the um, Griffey Star Rookie. Um, so we may send it in to get graded. If it graded yeah. up, you know, maybe that's the hard part that I'm I'm figuring out is that the likelihood of a card grading a ten is probably pretty low. Yeah. And you can spend a lot of money. Especially to, these old cards. You can spend a lot of money to get it graded, um, and it might not turn around and be profitable for you. So we've kind of got to make some decisions there. But Matthew, one of the things that I didn't tell you about is we got a little surprise for you. What? So your late birthday present here. Grayson, you want to bring this over? This is, this is just sprung this on Matthew here in the last minute. This is a little late, late little birthday present. And so Matthew's going to... What is this? What do you think it is? Is this National Treasures? <laughs> what is it? It's National Treasures basketball. Do you want to rip it? Yeah, well, why not? Do you want to rip it? Yeah. You got to get you gotta get something to rip it with. Be careful opening it up. Here, you know, let's cut the edge. All right. Rip it open. Oh, the big <laughs> prank of the day. This is where my Jackie Robinson comes from. <laughs> Show the camera what you got. So yesterday we went to like uh, the store and we were looking through the dollar boxes. And we found this like Jackie Robinson reprint card and I thought it was cool. And I was like, and I kept asking my dad where it was. Show <laughs> Boom, got the prank. So, Matthew, we had to do this. It was fun. Yeah. So, at the sports card store the other day, they had an empty National Treasures mm -hmm. box that they let Grayson pick up, and we just thought, we love you so much. <laughs> we had to <laughs> we had to prank you with the National Treasures of the late birthday gift. So, mm -hmm. got to have fun in the process, right? How, but I, I just don't get how it was still mm -hmm. steeled. I put a piece of tape over it. <laughs> To make this down seal. Uh, <laughs> Boom. Boom. That was a good one. That was a good one. Maybe one of these days we'll work up to opening the National yeah. Treasures, but not not today. So anyway, thank you guys for following along uh, on the adventure here of going from nothing to uh, 10,000. Uh, we've got some more cool stuff coming in the mail, and we're going to continue to flip these out. So listen, if you're into uh, you know trading cards, selling cards, you're into cards at all, uh, holler at us. We'd love to chat with you about it or maybe swap some stuff out or listen to some advice that you guys have. So uh, thank you guys for watching and, uh, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. These guys are having a, a lot of fun with this. We appreciate you watching.